Believe it or not, the mullet is an ancient hairstyle that dates back millennia, all the way back to ancient Egypt. Tell me that's not a mullet. Check out these guys. What distinguishes a shag from a mullet? And for the rest of the week, all the videos that I post are going to have a shag or a mullet sort of theme so that we can talk about the mechanics of how to cut one versus the other. But I wanna talk about how to tell whether you have a shag or a mullet. The 80s gave us a great scientific formula to determine whether or not we have a mullet. And that formula, simply put, is business in the front, party in the back. There has to be a clear distinction between your business and your party. Stay with me here. <laughs> so we wanna really determine how much of this haircut is business, how much of this haircut is party. The mullet that many of us are really familiar with, very timely, Joe Exotic, right? Clearly he means business here, reserving the back for a full on tiger party. This is definitely a mullet. There's a clear distinction. There's one haircut here, another here, and even sometimes a third underneath. Whereas your modern shag, it's just all party. I know a lot of us work from home nowadays, so maybe we have difficulty separating our business and our party, but this is clearly a shag. Mullets have been around forever, and it seems like nobody's immune. And there's really two ways to get one. One, you can walk into a barbershop or a salon and say, give me the mullet. The other is if you decide to grow your hair out and you don't get it cut, the back will grow visibly longer than the top. And that's what I like to call auto mullet. This picture's from 1990, undisclosed. So let's talk about some clear examples of mullets. You got the classic Billy Ray, Joe Dirt, obviously, party, party, and in the front they mean business. Clear distinction. Let's take a look at another one. There's no separation here. This one's gonna be a shag. Mullet. Mullet. This one, once again, we're looking for that distinction. That's definitely gonna be a shag, shag. Now here's an interesting case. Rat tails, do they count as a mullet? I say yes. Most of the haircut definitely follows a theme, but in the very back, if we turn around, we are ready to party. Someone who's referred to often, Stevie Nicks. She's rocked both a mullet and a shag. Clearly, there's a separation between party and business here. And it's just all party on this side. Or maybe it's all business. I don't know. So whether you decide to call it the ape drape, the Kentucky waterfall, the achy breaky, or the haircut of the gods, we need a definite distinction. We need a, a haircut with two different personalities in order to qualify as a mullet. So whether you're looking for a shag or a mullet, make sure you bring pictures to avoid any misunderstandings. Stick around for the rest of the week. I've got a lot to share with you and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw and you want to see some more, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Feel free to share with any of your nerdy friends. Click the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Let me know what else you want to hear about. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.